Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to review SolarCoin, also known as SXP. So I'm reviewing this coin because it's something I've been watching for a while now and it's been trending a lot lately on social media and has had some really good price action. So let's take a look at it. I was reviewing the white paper uh, earlier today. One of the first things I like to review when I'm looking into investing into a cryptocurrency is their tokenomics, which the main thing I'm looking for is what their total supply is and what their circulating supply is. I like to know that there's not going to be a bunch of coins put into circulation that could mess with the price. And after reviewing it, it actually looks kind of too good to be true. It shows that its total supply is around 570 million. And if I go on coin market cap here and look at its current circulating supply, it's really not far off from, from that. So I don't see any red flags as far as total supply versus circulating supply. And one thing I like to look at if I'm researching a coin is how many people are interested in it. And if you look on coin market cap, you can see that almost 400,000 people have it on their watch list. It's ranked number uh, 100. So definitely a big following with this cryptocurrency. And if we look at its price action, in the last day, it hasn't done too much, but if I zoom out a little bit to the seven day chart, you can see that it's went from 25 cents all the way up to 67 cents. So clearly we have some big momentum going with this coin. And if I zoom all the way out, I really like to look at on the bottom here, you can see the volume. And when you see something that's kind of boring as far as volume goes for a long time, and then all of a sudden you see this big tick up in volume, that's usually a really good sign that means that it's in breakout territory 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 and it has the potential to keep going and possibly lead into a a bull run and reach its previous all-time high if not exceed its previous all-time high so if we look at historically really we're sitting on back at the beginning of time as far as coin market cap has here back in 2019 it was around like 51 cents and it's kind of dipped down into the 20 cents area a few times and of course you can see in 2021 in that bull market it hit almost six dollars so about a 10x from where it's at right now at 67 cents so it definitely looks very promising now you definitely don't want to FOMO into these things if it's, you know, 2 x within the last week or something. So what I like to do once I find a coin that looks promising based on its tokenomics, based on its price action, its volume, then I like to go into a more detailed chart and do some, some real technical analysis. So here I have solar up in trading view and I'm looking at the weekly time frame here and we have a buy signal here with my 8 EMA Fibonacci technical analysis indicator that I like to use. So for a long term buy, I think this looks great. If you look back historically, it's pretty rare to get a weekly buy signal. And actually, if we look at on this chart here, we had it back when that 2020 pump happened, like right at the beginning of that, and then right at the beginning of that 2021 pump. So imagine if you would have bought at this buy signal here for like $1.30 and then held it all the way up to almost $6. So the fact that we have a weekly buy signal is huge and could signify that we're heading into a bull cycle uh, based on uh, the historics that we're, we're seeing on this chart. So that looks really good to me. As far as an entry point, what I'm looking at, if I 
go down to like a 30 minute time frame, which is what I really like for swing trading and for if I'm going to enter in a long term position, I try to get a little greedy and catch it on a dip, right? I don't want to buy at a ma major resistance point like we see up here. So is this a terrible spot to buy it? I mean, it's not ideal um, with where the cryptocurrency entire market has been going. You can see that we've really been on a nice uptrend here. So could it just keep going up based on that weekly buy signal? That's very possible. If you want to try to get a better uh, spot to buy in on it, I'm looking at this support level here around 59 cents. This has been a really good level of support. If it were to break through that and get down to like 57 cents range, I would anticipate that it's going to come all the way back down potentially to the 45 cent or the 30 cent range. So if you really want to get in this coin, obviously you can you know, maybe wait for a little pullback since it's had a lot of momentum lately here around this range or dollar cost average um, and hope that it kind of falls back down uh, to where it was about a week ago from, from where I'm looking at it today. So all in all, I think it has a lot of potential. Again, if you just look at this, the last time we had a weekly buy signal with the indicators that I'm using on this chart was right before the 2021 bull run. So that looks pretty promising. I, I will say that if I look at uh, the RSI here, it does look it's like it's a little bit overbought. So again, it's not the ideal place to uh, enter um, and, and grab um, some of this crypto, not financial advice, but I myself, I'm going to wait to see if we fall back down to the support level around 60 cents and then, uh, start adding to a position in it. So I hope that was helpful. If there's any coins that you want me to review, uh, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, of course, and I'll see you in the next cryptocurrency review video.